Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today is kind of a Monday out of all days, which is not usually a photography day for me, but I had a few hours to spare, so I kind of grabbed my camera bag and headed in my car and came to my local park. And just one of those things that I want to share with you that I've, I've come to learn throughout the time. You know, it's always good you get the added benefit of visiting a place over and over, even if you come back to a familiar spot you photographed so many times you're always surprised by what you find in terms of conditions pretty much the minute i rolled up i just saw this and i was like oh, i have to set up my camera i have to take a picture of this because it's so unique to the moment that i'm here and this is what i meant to say is that don't hesitate to always come back to the spot even if it's an easy spot that you're familiar to you're always gonna find something different to photograph but like this picture today i definitely quite like these intimate pictures now especially with winter time when there's no light you have to kind of get intimate with the photography and i find that this this picture works really really well and this is one i would actually print and put for sale because i don't take that many pictures in winter time and i should i should do that in all seasons you know because every season has a different vibe a different feel so definitely i've been enjoying this winter photography and uh, definitely it's it's nice to be back out even if it's just for an hour a quick getaway it's just i had some time i couldn't resist i kind of missed it so much i had to come take pictures and this one picture makes it all worthwhile honestly like i'm so happy like to show you this picture that i'm taking so i'm going for a vertical orientation kind of just focusing on the foreground we had a lot of snowfall in the in the last two days and that's kind of what caused this to change ever so much and me, I like to call this the cupcake phenomena. Like, it's just perfect snow on either side of the river. It's just a little stream running through. It kind of curves through the frame. And it's I've photographed here so many times, but every time it's different. And there's just a little bit of ice on the, on, the, on the bottom part of my frame with this nice graphic. It looks like also cupcakes. It looks like it's mimicking the style of the snow perfectly preserved, you know. So this is kind of what I like about this photograph is that it's a nice graphic from front to back and I think I'm gonna crop this in a 4x5 crop because I don't want to see the trees on the top I just want to show the snow, the stream and the graphic it's all cohesive, it makes sense and yeah I really quite like this picture honestly like if I just get this picture right here I already took a few frames I know I already got the shot and there's not really much happening in terms of light so I'm just gonna get the shot today and head back to the car, head back home, but I'm so glad I went out because I would have missed this completely. And with the weather kind of now, we're still on winter, but soon it's gonna start warming up and this will all melt away and it'll be gone. So it's very unique to the season, the time of year, the time of day. It's always unique to the time you are there. So this is what makes this photograph unique because I don't think it can be replicated because it'll never be the same exact scene with the exact same visual with the exact, with the exact same textures that i'm seeing so this kind of stuff makes me excited and this is why i like landscape photography so much so definitely i'm quite quite happy with this shot really and honestly the only thing i'm using as a filter is a polarizer to kind of enhance the texture in that ice and that graphic at the bottom it looks really really nice I want to show you what I'm kind of saying here in a minute just grab the camera what I'm shooting here so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit show you what I'm shooting so all this texture here at the bottom it's kind of framing I just love that 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 triple effect in the ice it's kind of mimicking the the cupcake effect that you see in the snow and I just love I just love all these the snow textures is just so nice you know so definitely like as a whole scene i think this works really really well and shooting it vertical i'm pretty much kind of framing this part all the way up to here so i would crop this 
just about there just to kind of eliminate all the tree and just keep the the vanishing point of the the that that curve just go to nothing you know so it's a nice flow from this all the way like this with the different layers that you get here it's definitely but that texture at the bottom there that's what makes the image for me like just this part here it really makes the image for me like really really much more special In all honesty, like I wouldn't have known that I was missing this one picture if I haven't come here, but this is why I wanted to share this video, even though it's quite short and there's not much photography except for this one picture. I just kind of wanted to share how important it is to come back to a place repeated times in different conditions, different times of day, because you never know what you find. So it's definitely like, I can't stress that enough. Like. I've been observing that. So every time I'm not out shooting, I'm wondering what opportunities I'm missing out there that are, could be happening as we speak. So as much as I enjoy the business side of photography, it does eat into the photography time. And that makes me a bit sad, but that's the reality, right? I need to focus on my business of selling my work as well as shooting. So. I definitely have to work on that balance of dedicating time to photographing new stuff while at the same time keeping my business afloat and stay involved in all my projects photography because you know I'm doing this full time me and I've been trying to figure out the various means of making money and print sales has been going well for me recently with the airport location it's been going better so definitely i want to keep that and keep doing what i've been doing but sometimes can be more difficult <laughs> in reality than than you know versus your expectations and i guess always your expectations versus reality the two are very different and you can never you know you have to put it out there it's like showing your work you put it out there and you never know how people are gonna react so some people might like it some people might criticize it and definitely it's one of those things that it's I'm learning <laughs> very well you know so yeah I think I'm gonna pack it up here and head home and tomorrow I'm, I'm back to the business side of photography which is fun too but just different you know I definitely if you give me a choice, I would always be in the field taking pictures. But that's not realistic to think about in reality. All right. Thank you guys for coming along. And I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of sharing this message and sharing this one photograph. Until next time, see ya.